How's it going everybody? Stellar here today, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the array functions when it comes to hard ops and box cutter. I've had a few people ask me, uh, and I wanted to make a, a basically a standalone video uh, just explaining that and talking about it and you know talk about some of the, the benefits. So with hard ops we have array v2 here and um, it is very very good uh, version of the array modifier in my opinion uh, with the old array modifier you know you would select your object add a modifier and go to array and then you could you know adjust your offsets and everything like that super simple not too hard but with hard ops it gives you a neat little feature so if you go to the Q menu and go down to array v2 it's not always there and if it's not there you will just go to uh, add modifier and it should be here as well so once you do uh, array v2 if we look at it I drag my mouse and it adjusts the array which is very neat but what if we wanted to get on the other axis well all we have to do is press X and it will swap it to a different axis press X and it'll swap it to a different axis and it works like that if we want to add to our count all we have to do is scroll wheel and it adds a count to it and I canceled it by pressing right click so if we go ahead and bring that back up all I have to do is scroll wheel and it adds an array to it and it's very very nifty in my opinion as well as helpful so there's always the array v2 option another neat function is if we go and press alt w twice to get us to the hard ops uh, version of blender here if we look over here we have different options as well so we have array modifiers here quick and easy to grab from the top as well as the 360 array or the circle array modifier so if I go ahead and click that, it will add this neat little array modifier here. And if we hold control, it'll give us this little option. And we could pull the array, get it adjusted the way that we want. Now, to increase your count, all you have to go here is to this array. And just step up the count. And it's as simple as that. You can do many great things with this. You can adjust it on the fly. Uh, as long as you leave these modifiers active, all you have to do is once you want to move these, you know, adjust the array for whatever reason you just click and grab it hold control until you get your little uh, grabber here and you just move it back and forth simple as that one of the neat features I like to use in box cutter is its array function as well and it has its own uses especially when it comes to drawing on the surfaces of things so if I go to the object here and I go ahead and draw a line here if I want more instead of having to duplicate it or anything like that what I can do is while I'm in a draw or any state while the cutters live still and we're still able to adjust and edit the uh, cutter here all you have to do is press V and it will give you the array same thing as the hard ops array you move your mouse and it adjusts the width you hold shift and it gets more precise same goes for the hard ops array and if you scroll wheel it'll give you more to work with as well as it gives you the uh, grabbers here to adjust the different um, types of things. Another neat function is the 360 array that uh, Box Cutter offers as well. So if you want to do some crazy stuff with uh, Box Cutter arrays, you certainly can do so. So if we go here, and I choose the right uh, option here. I wanted to do circle. I'm going to hold control and it brings up these little grabbers or these jump off points. They're really neat to have. You can draw from any of, of these uh, jump off points. I accidentally opened my windows there by being old fat fingers, but that's not a big deal. But we're going to use this jump off point here and grab a circle and we'll make it about this big. And then if I press V to bring up the array, bring it down to three and we press V again, it then turns it into a circle array. And same goes for what I previously said, is you can scroll wheel to get the amount that you want out, and you grab one of these and you can push it in, and you're good to go. Another good array is you can use the hard ops array with a box cutter cutter once you've made it. Uh, for example, here, I'll go ahead and delete this cutter here, and we'll draw in a another cutter. And if I forget to array this for whatever reason, and I, you know, complete the cut without giving it the array function such as this, 
if I just go ahead and hold shift and keep it live in its location, you can then go to the Q menu and do Array V2 and it works just the same as any old array from Hard Ops or Box Cutter. So yeah, with this information, I hope it cleared up some of the questions I have received from you guys. Uh, if it did help you out, definitely leave a like and maybe comment to what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, like I said, I hope this uh, helped you guys out, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.